showing you how to harden off your plants before planting them out into the ground. Hello and Asalaamu Alaikum. If you're new to our channel, I'm Akib Ullah. I'm Ali Raja. Asalaamu Alaikum. We will also, sh we'll also give you a full tour of our garden, what we have grown so far and what we intend to grow. So don't skip the video. Watch the video till the end and please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more future videos. Without further ado, Dad, let's start gardening. Let's start gardening. Plants raised indoors or in a greenhouse need to be acclimatized before exposed or exposing them to in cooler temperature, lower humidity and increased air movement at least two to three weeks before planting them out into the ground or in a container. It's a beautiful day today, nice and sunny. Not too windy. The temperature is around 17 degrees today and it's a perfect day to harden off your uh, indoor plants. Now, if you're bringing your tender plants outside for the first time, don't expose them to the sun straight away. Let them get used to the new environment, the low humidity and the wind. Uh, keep them under the shade for about two hours and then expose them to the sun for about half an hour, no more than half an hour. Otherwise, you'll get sunburn and your, your plants probably will die and you don't want that so today we've got uh, like i said it's a beautiful day and we've taken all our plants out these are some of the plants we've been growing inside the house and in, inside the greenhouse so today we're exposing them to the outside weather so i have the gazebo behind me and the sun is coming from behind that so this area is shady so we're going to keep them here for about two hours and then we're going to move them um, under the sun for about 20 minutes. This is what happens when you expose your tender plants under the sun for too long. These plants were really beautiful. About a week ago, I reported them um, from a smaller uh, pot to a larger, uh, larger size pot, and they were absolutely gorgeous. And uh, a couple of days ago, we brought them out in, in the garden, and we left them under the sun, and we completely forgot about them and they were left under the sun for about eight or nine hours. Plants has died. And uh, it's really um, heartbreaking when, you, when your plant dies. It wasn't intentionally, we, by, because we have so many plants in our garden and uh, we kept them in different part of the garden and we completely for forgot about these, these plants and they, they died. And um, they were really lo good looking, gorgeous plants. One of my favorite uh, Nagachibi plants and uh, unfortunately they, di they died. So when you bring your plants out, don't forget about them. Make sure you keep an eye on them. It's a bit like looking after your children. So this area here is the sunniest part in our garden. Now we had these plants in the shade for about two hours. Now we are putting them under the sun for about 20 to half an hour, no more than that. It depends on the, inten the intensity of the sun. I can see the sun intensity is quite high. So I'm not going to actually expose them more than 20 minutes. Otherwise you'll find your plants will get dopey and they're not used to this weather. So you need to slowly acclimatize them. So I'll keep them for about 20 minutes before I take them back into the shade. And then again, I, I might sort of bring them out again uh, for another 20 minutes before I take them out inside the house. These lemon plants were kept uh, inside a greenhouse over the winter month and um, they have survived. They, they're doing really well. Uh, the weather has gone uh, warmer now so we decided to bring them out and I can see they, they have started producing new leaves and new flowers. Last year these, these plants have given us many many lemons we still have many lemons left on these uh, plants. I don't, I don't know whether you can see them. We're hoping to get many more lemons this, this season. I know many of you want us to make a uh, video on how to care for your lemon plants. We are hoping to upload a video in the next few days. So look out for that video. These are long beans. 
We left them outside here for about an hour and it's time to take them back inside the greenhouse. It's the first day of hardening them off and we don't want to expose them to too much sunlight or they will die. Let's give you an update on our other vegetable plants inside of our greenhouse. We are growing two bottle gourd plants inside of our greenhouse. Mashallah! Both of these plants have grown nice and healthy and they have grown quite tall. Dad, how tall do you think this plant is? Uh, I reckon the plant uh, on, your, on, your, on your left side, that plant is about 8-9 foot tall. It has trailed on top of the trellis, Dad. It has, it has trailed nicely on, on top of the trellis. And the one on your left is uh, slightly smaller, but it also has, uh, it's about 6 foot tall, this one. It's looking nice and healthy, isn't it? Yeah, it is, Dad. I'm, I'm looking, uh, if everything goes well, I'm looking to harvest few bottle gourd plants from these plants. I can't wait, Dad. I've been waiting for bottle gourd for so long and I hope everything goes right. Bottle gourd is one of my favourite. I can't wait. What are those plants, Akib? These are some beautiful looking corianders, Dad. Look how beautiful they look. Oh, they look amazing, don't they? Yep. They smell so fresh and they smell so aromatic. Now, did you know you can grow coriander all year round on your windowsill? We, we've been growing coriander all year round in a, in a container or, or in a seed tray. Don't they look amazing? Oh, these are more corianders. Uh, we've grown them in, in the ground. And they, they, they're coming out really nicely. We've grown them in a row. And they're coming up really nicely. We'll have a good supply of coriander throughout the month of Ramadan. Now, actually, it looks like they need a little bit of watering. The ground uh, looks a little dry. Yes, they do look a little dry, Dad. And it's been a really hot day today. And inside the greenhouse, the temperature is around 28 degrees. Uh, we have to water it. They look, they look really dry, but they, these coriander look amazing, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they do. I'm really happy. Dad, should we take these tomato plants outside so we could harden them off and give them some fresh air? I think you should, Aki. Uh, put them outside with, uh, along with the other plants and uh, so they get uh, plenty of fresh air. These are, these are different varieties of tomato plants we're growing. Uh, we've got quite a few of them uh, this year. I think we've got we have a few extras. We have a few extras. Sometimes they die off. So make sure when you're growing, uh, when you when you're sowing seed, sow a few extra seeds so that you have extra plants. So if few of them dies off, uh, you have others as a backup. These are different varieties, and they're looking really good. We have more at the back here. There are more tomato plants here. Akib, I think we should take these one outside also. Yeah, they need some fresh air. And they also need some water. They look a little bit dopey. These are some bitter gourd plants that we have on our windowsill. We're slowly going to be exposing them to the outside weather. They're looking quite healthy, aren't they? Yes, they are, Dad. So these are bottle uh, bitter gourds that uh, we've been growing inside the house and they're looking beautiful hopefully um, from tomorrow we'll actually expose them to the outside weather gradually not in one go otherwise these tender plants will die they really look nice don't they yes they do let's check on our plants inside of the grow tent these are some of our other chili plants that we are growing under this grow light inside this grow tent if you're a chili grower like ourselves, you, it might, may be a good idea to invest in a grow light and a grow tent and you can grow chilies or any plants uh, throughout the year, 12, 12 months a year without any break. Uh, we've started growing chilies um, under a grow light from last season and mashallah they do really well. We don't actually keep them here all, all the time. We sow our seeds and we put our seed trays in here. As the seedlings get bigger, we transplant them into slightly larger port and then we take them outside. And um, chilies, they tend to do well under the grow light. 
Chile is a slow, slow grower. It takes a long time to grow, especially uh, in, in a colder climate. But if you provide them with heat and a full spectrum light, they will grow very fast. This is the SF2000 um, full spectrum grow light. And we found that to be a really useful tool in our gardening. So if you're interested in purchasing a, a grow light, I, I think you should consider buying the SF2000. We will leave the link in the description, um, the Amazon link, and you could use that link to purchase the SF2000 uh, grow light or the uh, grow tent. This is the spider farmer grow tent. Okay. Chilies uh, are doing quite good, actually. Yeah, they are, Dad. And we're not just growing chilies, we're growing some bitter gourd. Oh, these are some bitter gourd. We had more plants in here, so we sort of, as they get bigger, we take them, take out. them out. So the, these, these chili plants need to be transplanted. This one also needs to be transplanted. Uh, these are, what are these? Okra. Yeah, these are okra, okra plants. So I'm going to, these are two in one, I'm going to transplant them. Some ridge gourds. Yeah, this is okra, it's coming quite nicely actually. And I've got some ridge gourd, some bitter gourd. Uh, this is one of the chili plant uh, was burned the other day. It's slowly coming back to life, Dad. Uh, but it looks terrible, like if I don't think it's going to uh, come back properly. But let's see. Let's see how it goes. I really hope we were able to explain how to harden off your plant before you plant them uh, outside into the ground. If you enjoyed watching our videos, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to share our videos with your friends and family. As you know, sharing is caring. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, do something amazing and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time we upload. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram. We'll leave the link in the description down below. Stay safe, Assalamu Alaikum, and until then, I'll see you in the next one. Happy gardening, Assalamu Alaikum, and I'll see you in the next one.